Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the MongoDB extension for VS Code. MongoDB has recently released an extension for the VS Code IDE by which you can directly connect to your MongoDB instance and run operations on your database from the VS Code IDE. Just like you can use MongoDB Compass to connect to your instance and see your data, now you can use the VS Code IDE to visualize your data from your developer tool. If you have not installed VS Code yet, you can download it from the official website, Official Studio Code. Once you have installed it, the IDE looks like this and you can see there is an option for extension. When you click that, it will list all the extensions available for VS Code. And if you search for Mongo, you can see a list of extensions available for Mongo and you can see one of it is MongoDB for VS Code which has been officially released by MongoDB. Now if you click on install you can see the options with details about the particular extension. You can see the features available in this particular extension. There are also options to check the change log or see the feature contribution. So once this extension is installed in your VS Code. You can go to View and click on Command Palette. I can see all the commands available in VS Code here. And if I search for MongoDB, I can see all the options which are available after the installation of that extension. I can connect to a MongoDB shell. I can also use MongoDB Playground, which we'll discuss in a bit. And I can also connect to an existing MongoDB instance so when i click on mongodb connect it will open a page which will allow me to connect to an existing mongodb instance i can either provide the connection string to connect it or i can use the advanced settings to provide host name port and other connection parameters to connect to my mongodb instance so now let me first try to connect to my local host instance so for that, I'll provide the URL MongoDB localhost 27017, the default port. And when I click enter, you can see now it shows that it's connected to localhost. And if I go to view and select open view and click on MongoDB, you can see the MongoDB icon has appeared here. And if I click on that, I can actually view my MongoDB instance with all its databases and if I can open any of the database I can even see the collections in my database. The collections are shown as a folder symbol so you can see in config I have system.sessions and in admin I have systems.versions and when I open a particular collection I can also see the number of documents and even I can view those documents when I open them. So you can see in system that sessions there are six documents and I can see all those documents. There is also an option to see the schema of your particular collection. So when I click on the schema tab I can see that I have a field underscore ID and I can see there's also a last use field. So there's also an option to see the indexes so for my particular collection system.sessions I have underscore ID which is the default index. So you can see all the databases, the collections in it and also you can view the documents or indexes and see the schema. So this feature is very useful and it just acts as your MongoDB Compass tool but it's directly in your ID. Just like connected to localhost, you can also connect to your existing MongoDB Atlas cluster. So you can provide the URL of your MongoDB cluster here. If you are new to MongoDB Atlas and you have never created a cluster which is actually free, you can also create the cluster directly by clicking this button from your VS Code IDE and it will redirect you to the MongoDB Atlas page. So here I have connected to my MongoDB Atlas. And these are the databases which were present in my MongoDB Atlas cluster. I can see the 
documents inside my collection for example planets has these documents and the schema so the schema you can see there are icons in front of the schema which represents the data type which are for that particular field so you can see has listing is a boolean that's why that symbol and then for an array you have an array symbol you have for character character symbol or an alphabet so you can actually also understand that what is the data type of that field when you actually view the schema in this particular view because it's the mongodb atlas cluster you're not able to see the real data but you can see the count of your documents and only the underscore id is listed here for your particular collection so like this you can actually visualize the data on your mongodb cluster directly on the vs code there is also an option in this particular extension to write scripts or have multi commands to run on your database and that option is known as playground so you can see the button create playground here which will open a playground or actually a j script on which you can write multiple commands and run on your database so when you click on create a new playground it will open a template which is pre-existing with some commands as you can see there is a database being selected here using the use command and there is an insert menu which is inserting multiple documents into a collection known as sales and there's also a find query happening with a certain criteria and the result of which is stored in a particular object or a constant and that constant is being printed in the console.log to have that printed in your output and there's also an aggregation query so you can see there are multiple things happening in a particular js code which is known as playground and this is the template which is provided you can also have your own code written here and run the operations which you want so now just let's run that as you can see it first throws a warning so you have to be careful when you run multiple commands or you run a chase on your database especially if you're running it on production so just to be sure that whatever commands you run is what you intend to run on your database and once you run it it will take its time as per the query and then you can see the output here you can see the result and also there is the result of the aggregation which was the last command run in your playground so like this you can run whatever template or your custom code in the playground and get the desired result or test for different cloud operations in your base code this would be helpful when you have to run multiple queries on your database or you have to run some aggregations and see the results or also to test the performance so you can use the vs code extension playground where you can write your scripts as a js format and have it in the id itself so it feels as integrated to your development environment you can also modify your database or create new collections or new databases by clicking on this icon from your mongodb view so when you click that it will auto generate a script you don't have to type in the script for your creation of collections or databases or also indexes so when i click on a particular database it would give me the scripts pre-written so i can also create indexes so if i click on index and click on the plus icon i can see a uh, option to create new indexes and you can see all the types of indexes or the attributes for the indexes are commented here so whichever attribute i want to add to my index creation i can just uncomment that and then use that for my index creation so you don't have to refer back to the manuals to check for the commands you just have to uncomment whatever portion you want from that particular code now if you go to view and command palette you can also launch the mongodb shell directly from your visual studio code and there would be in the terminal the mongodb shell where you can run different commands on your vs code there's also export options where you can export your code to different languages like you can use this to export whatever scripts you have generated to your 
particular programming languages in which you have the application written. So that's also a added feature of this particular MongoDB extension which you can utilize for your development. You can export the scripts which you have written to Ruby, Python, Java, .NET or other languages. So it's helpful in your application development. So this was the video regarding the MongoDB extension, its features and how to use it. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching my video.